Hello, Vinyl Community. I'm Will Smith. Today is Labor Day here in the United States, and so a happy Labor Day to you, but I finally have a little time to sit down and do a record collection update video. The last one that I did was as part of Record Store Day, and so that was in April. It makes it five months ago, and some time has passed there. Um, so several things to show you, so better get started. First one to, uh, to show is Gorilla's Demon Days. This was a Vinyl Me Please um, release and potentially one of their most popular. It, uh, it sold out with people doing just single, single month uh, subscriptions for that. Um, but it's a pretty cool release. Double LP. I won't pull it out of the clear inner sleeves, but you can see here some pretty cool... Um, Custom labels, uh, red translucent vinyl. It uh, it also came with several other things. For instance, um, some uh, these are custom inner sleeves that uh, that I didn't use because they're not lined and they don't they don't seem to protect as well. But it does have the two custom inner sleeves, the two LPs. I believe they're both that same color. They are. It also came with some stickers. Um, so a pretty, a pretty fun release in all here for uh, for the gorillas. And here's the other custom inner sleeve. This album came out while I was in in high school, and uh, it has a couple of songs on it that you know were were popular on the radio. They were popular. There in school and whatnot, um, so it was kind of fun to to get that release and have that now be part of my collection. I like that it comes with storage inner sleeves, but these ones with sticky are kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, next up, Weezer, uh, Green Album, Original Recording Masters. So this is part of uh, uh, the MoFi, the, the Gain 2, so the second, but it is the limited edition serial number, and uh, they always do a great job um, with their releases. So Next, um, a Vinyl Me Please exclusive pressing uh, Philip Glass solo piano. I already have uh, these songs on a different record. But this was just such a cool release. It's a lot like the Deutsche Grammophon stuff. It comes with polylined inner sleeve. Is on translucent vinyl or clear vinyl. Um, but overall, a, a fun release and and good uh, good for my Sunday listening. Oh, next we have my favorite Iron Maiden album, Fear of the Dark. Um, this is a uh, part of their recent reissues that Iron Maiden is doing. I'm very excited for. Uh, it came with, it's on black vinyl. It came with black polylined inner sleeves. Um, but I've, I've enjoyed that and it's, it's been fun. This is my favorite Iron Maiden album. Um, that's been criticized a little bit, as I've mentioned that to a few people. Uh, in part, that's just because this was the album that I got to know um, Iron Maiden of. I'd go over to my friend's house and uh, we'd listen to, to this album and Fear of the Dark quickly became my, my favorite song and the album itself. I, I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a good album. Huh? Next we have the Who, Who's Next. This is a reissue, I believe on black vinyl. Um, yeah, it comes with a polylined white paper inner sleeve. But uh, just a great, great album by the Who. And one that I had when I was younger on CD, of course I wore that CD out where the, the actual reflective surface flaked off the one side some uh, 
trying to think that probably the most famous song on here would be uh, Behind Blue Eyes or maybe um, Won't Get Fooled Again, um, Bargain, Bob O'Reilly, all of these are really popular songs off of this one. But uh, I've always thought it was cool. I think it's cool artwork and uh, excited to have that be part of my collection. Now this one's fun. It's an uh, original recording master of Billy Joel's Piano Man. Again, part of the MoFi Game 2 um, stuff, but is the special limited uh, numbered edition. This one's kind of neat because my wife overheard me and a friend talking about how I would like to get the original recording master of this one. I have an original. And so she, uh, she hunted it down and, and bought it for me as a, as a birthday gift, which was very, very nice. And, uh, and so, yeah, I have that now. Um, going along with, uh, with some of the Gorilla stuff released after Demon Days is Plastic Beach. And I uh, was excited to get this. Uh, probably the radio hit off of this was Rhinestone Eyes. But again, a very popular one while I was in uh, school and just on black vinyl. Uh, it came with some custom inner sleeves, just like the other. Um, but of course, they're not they're not polylined or anything. They're just some cool-looking paper inner sleeves. So we swapped those out. Next is another vinyl me please um, release. Uh, fantastic album actually just in all it is a, a great album Fiona Apple's title um, comes again in the finally please archivable sleeve that's kind of a pain in the butt to open but is released as a double LP on black vinyl and uh, I want to say it comes with and I want to see if I can find this this 12 page lyric book that uh, I think is uh, I've enjoyed it's it's been really cool to, to sit back and listen to this one um, another album that was out around the time that I was in uh, I was in well just before high school actually looking at this um, and something that was just iconic from my from my youth here uh, these next two <clears throat> These next two kind of came together. Um, very fun. But uh, Justin Towns Earl released this recently, and I got a special kind of pre release deal. And I can't remember who did this. Um, this might have been Pledge Music. I think this, I think I got this one from Pledge Music. Anyways, it was cool. It's signed. Kind of threw me off there because it came opened. And I thought, what is this crap? And then I realized, well, how do you sign the actual cover if you don't open it? So, um, very cool though, but it's on this neat gold vinyl you can see here. It's got some custom labels. I'll try and show those. So, uh, all in all, a really, a really fun release. It also came with a 7-inch single. Let me get this away. <laughs> hmm, excuse me. So a little seven inch single on uh, black vinyl. The B side is Paul Simon's Graceland. Very fun release. I really like this album by Justin Towns Earl. Um, I, I'll admit my favorite song of his is still White Gardenias. Um, but in all, this is a this is a great album that I've really enjoyed listening to. Uh, and worth a listen. It's on Spotify. Give it a shot. Ah, uh, this next one is by a, a Joyful Noise VIP release that I thought was pretty cool. Um, I didn't I, I didn't know this band beforehand, but uh, it is Sleep Party People, Lingering. This is a uh, numbered uh, release special release of this uh, particular album and comes it's a single LP 
on a pretty cool, um, you can see pink center and then not quite perfectly clear, but kind of a kind of a milky translucent vinyl on the outside. It's got some custom uh, labels there, which are uh, which are pretty cool. But came with a few other things. For instance, custom printed inner sleeve, uh, a bookmark, um, and then and these are kind of funny. This is your sleep party people mask. I'm not sure what this fellow's deal is with the uh, with the rabbits, but it's kind of humorous. And then a a poster as well. So very cool release from Joyful Noise of Sleep Party's People's Lingering, and I enjoyed the album as well. So very cool there. Next album, Chuck Berry's latest and last release, Chuck. Um, here's the track listing here on the back. This is a special release by Pledge Music and is, is actually a really cool release. So it comes with a few things. First, let's see here. Translucent red vinyl. Pretty cool there. And then it also comes with this lyric book um, that actually has the whole story. One of the things that's really interesting on this um, that I really quite liked was uh, his family does most of the playing with him and you, you hear that um, and, and you, you read about that here through the story, and so this has actually uh, been a very cool release. Sit back, put the record on, pull this book out. Um, just the single LP there, but very neat release through Pledge Music, and uh, really like this one. Next, Willie Nelson's latest album, God's Problem Child. I've enjoyed listening to this album. Here's the track listing so that you can see that. I don't know that there's anything there that you're going to specifically recognize, but uh, I have enjoyed it. Just a simple release on black vinyl. Chris Stapleton's uh, From, uh, From a Room, Volume 1. I've really enjoyed uh, his release just prior to this one, Traveler, and this one, this one is probably a stronger release uh, on Mercury Records. Black, uh, just regular black vinyl with some pretty cool looking Mercury labels there, but uh, a really good album. Again, on Spotify, worth the listen. Uh, and, and you may find that you enjoyed enough to add it to your collection as well. This is another Vinyl Me Please release, Kevin Morby's latest City Music. Oh, um, and uh, it's, it's really good. It's, it's an exclusive pressing of theirs, and so it comes with a, a few things that only Vinyl Me Please can do. One is, of course, a, a lyric book. Um, that not only has the lyric, but uh, but some artwork. Uh, and kind of tough to show there, so pretty cool. Pretty cool overall as a release there. It also came in a black polylined inner sleeve on a really cool um, white and orange vinyl. Kind of like a like a I think of a cream sickle. I can't remember what they call this specific pattern. This next one, Star Wars, uh, Rogue One, or a, a Star Wars story. I apologize. Anyways, um, but uh, the score, double LP, 
on black vinyl. Um, it's been a it's been a, a fun addition there to the collection as well. My daughters really enjoy listening to that one. Um, this is another vinyl me re please uh, exclusive release. Uh, Betty Davis. Um, her self-titled in a very neat gatefold. We've got our lyrics there on the inside. It came in a uh, white paper polylined inner sleeve. This is a very cool gray and blue vinyl with some custom labels there. Try and see if you can see that. Also kind it also came. Oh. I stand corrected, I thought it had a book. It also came with some, some custom artwork. And then a lyric book, a little bit about um, Betty Davis and her story, which is actually really amazing, and I did not know it prior to this. So kudos for education um, by Violin McPlease. But uh, she recorded and produced everything herself and and for uh, not only a black person in her era uh, and and in her locale but also a woman at the same time is is really amazing also comes with a little coloring sheet so very fun release there and it's a fantastic album actually it's uh, it's a lot of fun to play This next one, uh, a 10-inch EP of Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. It has, uh, I'm trying to show the track listing there. But this was an offer from The Edit. And uh, it, it struck me enough to go ahead and, and do the text reply to, to get the album. It's kind of dangerous, actually, that I can do that. But... Uh, next, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, uh, the soundtrack. This is the deluxe edition that uh, is double LP, and so side A and B of disc 1 are all the popular songs, and on disc 2, side A, the first two songs are popular songs, and then the rest of side A and all of side B are the score itself. They've done a few things here artistically to make it seem like it's an older record. For instance, they, they've made the ring wear uh, into the artwork there, uh, both front and back. But uh, it's a pretty cool, um, pretty cool gatefold release. The records themselves are just on black vinyl uh, with some custom, custom labels, but nothing too special to write home about. It's, uh, it's all about the music that's on them. These next two are really fun. Um, both uh, releases through Pledge Music, and they are the Cars. The first is Panorama, um, and it is a it's a special release. So the first LP is uh, just a regular release. Um, it says just a reissue. It doesn't say it was remastered here. So um, that's just the regular Panorama album. Um, with some very popular tracks like Touch and Go and, uh, and Up and Down, I'm trying to think what else would be really top hits. Anyways, the, the second LP, however, has side three is previously unreleased material. So there's four different uh, songs here. Um, and I'll try and hold it up so that you can see those. But the D side does not have music on it and it is a laser engraved uh, artwork on the LP so I'm gonna see if I can show this to you because it's actually pretty darn cool okay I'm hoping that you can see that 
this one's the flag there, the uh, the racing flag. And it says the cars repeatedly all the way around, and then panorama over the flag. So really, really kind of a cool way to leverage the unneeded side and add even more art to to this medium. Next is Carr's Candio album. Um, iconic cover art that uh, they're very popular for. It's in a it's in a gatefold, and so kind of interesting. Apparently, they have the model pictures in there. I've actually never opened the gatefold before now. So band picture on the one side, uh, the model photos on the other. That uh, was used to to make the artwork. And this is the exact same. So uh, the first LP is the reissue, and is the uh, the regular tracks. There's nothing uh, nothing unique there. The second disc, however, side three is um, some other some other cuts. So you've got Let's Go Monitor Mix. Candio Southern Northern Studios version, Night Spots Northern Studio version, Lust for Kicks, Monitor Mix, Dangerous Type Northern Studios version, uh, They Won't See You Northern Studios version, and that's it, of the B-side of the Let's Go single. And I believe that those were previously unreleased. We'll try to show the tracks there. But just like Panorama, they had the D-side that was otherwise unused. And it does, they do come with this little, little uh, information sheet as well, which is pretty fun. So on this, they did the laser art again, and I hope that you can see this here, but it's got the, uh, it's basically a rim. And in the center, it says Candy O over and over, and around the edge, it says the cars over and over. So again, very neat. This is a, apparently laser etched, but a very cool way to use that, that medium. All right, this is gonna be the last one that uh, I have to share with you. And that is, it's another Vinyl Me Please release, the National Boxer. Did not know this album at all until it was released here. And listen to it on Spotify. I was excited to be getting it as part of the membership to Vinyl Me Please. Um, it came with a small single on clear vinyl. And then the actual record itself is on gray vinyl. This whole album is on Spotify, and I'd encourage you to go listen to it because it is really, really good. Uh, custom, custom inner sleeves, a lyric sheet, and uh, the custom artwork that is traditional with the Vinyl Me Please release. But uh, a fantastic album there. Anyways, that is the whole update that uh, that I have. So. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave comments below. I do read all of those comments and, and reply as, as appropriate. I also appreciate a, a like or subscribe or feedback. And in the meantime, take care.